Well, this video is long overdue. Actually, a couple of years overdue. But before we start this video, we need to make a coffee. Better, way better. Like I said, this video is long overdue. I wanna tell you the story how I wanted to shoot this particular video for almost five years. My wife Alina always says she hasn't seen anybody who watches as many YouTube videos as I do. I watch videos while I'm on commute, while I'm riding the bus, riding the subway. You might see me walking like this, <laughs> I don't really remember when this addiction for YouTube started, but I do remember that back in 2016 or 2017 I was on YouTube and it was this video of this guy called Peter McKinnon. I didn't really know who he was. The video was called 8 camera hacks in 90 seconds. That video was so packed and so compressed but also so very practical. I was hooked. I immediately started binge watching Peter McKinnon's videos. By that time there were five or six, not more. But it started something in me. Suddenly there was this deep wish, this desire in me to start creating videos, to start filming, to start filming vlogs. I didn't even really know what vlogs were back then, but I knew that I want to start filming. I was so impressed by how Peter McKinnon was able to tell stories and also make these cinematic videos and he was able to incorporate these two together, storytelling and cinematic video. So there I was, a 25 year old me back then with a vision, a clear one. I wanted to make YouTube videos. I didn't have any idea where to start or how to start but I knew I wanted it. I grabbed the DSLR my fiance had back then. Um, it was an old Nikon. And I filmed this hike we took with our friends. Unfortunately, I stopped filming after that because I was so disappointed and embarrassed of how the video turned out to be. And I was, I was embarrassed and I stopped. The problem was I wanted this video to be like Peter's videos. I wanted that buttery, smooth, slow-mo, I wanted that B-roll. I had this expectation of my videos to be like this guy's. Of course, he inspired me, he motivated me, but the problem I had, I thought that once I was starting to film YouTube videos or videos in general, the outcome would be exactly like his videos, but that didn't happen. So I had this false expectation and it wrecked me. I stopped filming at all. Well, the problem is these expectations and these disappointments stuck with me for years. They stopped me from realizing this clear vision and deep desire I had just because I had so high expectations and was disappointed and was also afraid of what other people might say. Don't get me wrong, I still kept shooting pictures. Peter McKinnon motivated me to start creating but I knew that in the video aspect I wouldn't be able and it would be way more difficult to increase in my skills but in the photography part I was able to slowly but surely increase more and more my skills. I was shooting pictures all over the city and fortunately I live in this beautiful city Vienna that has amazing architecture but I never returned back to video. There were always these reasons of why I was afraid to start. First I think there was the fear of what other people might say. Second was the high expectations I had and couldn't meet because of the lack of my video filming skills. And third, it was the lack of appropriate gear for me to be able to film. That's what I thought. But that desire stuck with me. Every time when somebody was asking me what my dream job would be or what my dream occupation would be, I would start telling them that I would want to make a living out of YouTube and I really want to earn a living out of that. Well, I know it sounds cliche and I really want to avoid this word called YouTuber, <laughs> but I really love YouTube and I would love to make videos for YouTube. Firstly, because I love to create, I love to inspire, I love to share my experiences with other people. I think everybody that knows me personally would tell you that I love to share stuff with people and I love people. And that's one reason why I want to start creating. I want to inspire and I want to create a community. I love communities and I think YouTube is one of the greatest places to start creating a community. 
So even though through the years, since 2017 until now, my gear has improved. But you know, I think this was only an excuse. I always had a smartphone, I always had a camera, I always had a laptop. I think one thing that always was between me and that point of realizing what I wanted to do were excuses. Also, I wasn't that resilient and I still am not, <laughs> but I'm trying to improve it. And every time I was trying to do something, I was distracted by something that came in my way. I was distracted by the fact that my laptop was getting hot and was slow. I was distracted that my DSLR camera didn't have an autofocus. And I was distracted by all these small things that were in my way and I let them keep me away from the goal I had. And that was to create more and more and more and to share it with you guys. Also another thing that kept holding me back was the fear of other people's opinions. Like, what would they say? I think this is one thing that is really, really holding a lot of people back. Well, since the first time I've seen one of Peter McKinnon's videos, there've been a couple of Januaries, <laughs> there've been a couple of New Year's resolutions. And every time one of my resolutions was to start filming videos for YouTube. And every single time there was something that was coming in my way. But last year was a bit different for us. We moved to a new place, we got pregnant, our first daughter Chloe was born, I turned 30, I got a new job, I got a job that I really love, working in a creative field, working towards what I really love as a videographer full time and I was really happy about this. And all these big events changed our lives. And all these big life-changing events kept motivating me more and more and were pushing me more and more towards this, towards my first video as a YouTuber. I know maybe for some of you guys it's like, dude, come on, it's just the first video. It's a video, just take it. And yeah, you're right, just take it. But sometimes it's so hard. And this first video, I, I had this imagination and this expectation of it to be such a big event. And yesterday I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna start filming this video. And now here we are. I think I started filming this video maybe a couple of times, maybe even 20 times. <laughs> I've got interrupted, I've got distracted. I started filming it this morning. And before I even started, I was like, I have to think of something interesting. I have to think of this interesting idea I have to tell. But no, yesterday in the evening, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna just film this video. I'm gonna tell my story. I'm gonna tell the story how it took me five years to start filming my first YouTube video. And now, let me tell you about us.